Hey everyone, Jarzik here, welcome back to Star Fox. This time we are not doing level 1 or 2, but level 3. And it's got the most... sort of complex looking path. But no matter. We'll do it, we'll finish the hardest route. We can do it after the path we did in level 2. I think we can handle it. Good luck. And Pepper, you're extremely right. It is a great opportunity for a surprise attack. I mean, who would dare think to take the longest route to the enemy? They might almost see us coming. I do like how they change it up, where it's like at sunset instead of the middle of the day on level 3. Still same theme for Corneria though, and that's okay. Come on now. Let's not have this poor aim issue again. They got these silent things. You can still shoot them. I don't know why I didn't get the killing blow there. Woo! Almost didn't make that one. Yeah, no extra hints this time. Do you want a bomb or do you want a freshly earned twin blast? Oh, that undid the damage to the wings. I see that was a good bet. And hit it. Hit the dude. There we go. Oh. That's basically pick your poison there. Now I'll have other chances to heal. Yeah, you definitely want to break in dealing with these pillars. Ooh, I'm getting out of control. I can only get one due to one right in front of me. Come on, we were doing so good when we rematched level 2. Let's not screw it up now. Phew! And it's gone. Knowing how peppy is in future games, it seems so weird to say get lost, you fiend. If you're saying, get lost, you fiend! It just don't sound like peppy at all. I could maybe see Slippy saying that though. Alright, we should be nearing the checkpoint soon. A high risk, decent reward. The attack carrier. Haven't we fought this thing twice? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What in the world? That should not have happened. Jarius is better than that. And yes, I did just refer to myself in the third person. What you gonna do? There's one. That one's hard to get usually. Usually I can only get one or two of them. Star Fox 64 had plenty of bosses that were robots. But none of them were just a big ass tank, were they? The way you have to fight this thing is special. Wait until one of them becomes spinning and then shoot it. Because you do have to destroy those things on the bottom. But the thing is, if you don't destroy the little cups on top, they will respawn. And undo all your hard work. 
So there's that one down. There's that one. And that one. Now obviously when the cannon side is out, you can't shoot the cannon. But you can destroy the back sides. I like how it just breaks to pieces before it just completely explodes. It's like, where was the fuel that made the big explosion? <laughs> There we go, starting out at 100%. That's how it should be. Now the asteroid level? Oh no, this one is much different. Use the L button to escape the tractor beam of the enemy battleship. You can do it, Fox. And you know, first time playing this game, I don't think I heard of Battleship. You know, whoa, 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 the game Battleship. So I never thought of it as like something as a boat until I brought it up and people were talking, making jokes about it sinking. It's probably another year or so until I understood it. This is a seems pretty simple, but well, don't worry. The hard part is yet to come. And it's not that. Oh, I didn't even see you, Peppy. <laughs> You're getting the slippy tribute this time, aren't you? Oh, that's not what I want. This is what I want. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, let's do it. Oh dear. Taking a lot of hits. Thank Pepper for the checkpoint. I'm glad I got the snowballs right before this. I don't want to call it a hyper laser because it's not very hyper. You went from shooting lasers to uh, snowballs. That's why you always sort of look like snowballs. Yeah, let's get a one up. We may actually need it. Now you want to be careful. There's a risk and reward. Because, uh,. Thing flies at you if you blow up the ship on it. But you could say it's being slowly got it here anyway. And then you got these crazy, creepy ones that just fly straight to you with their laughing faces. A little too much damage there. Like you gotta fly all the way to one side of the screen and all the way to the other. Oh no, I ain't taking that kind of damage. No way. And I still got hit. By what? I'm making a save state. I just have to. And be careful because this is that kid. That's attracted me. That thing. I mean, this thing just. Shoots a ton of missiles. A few too many for my liking. You just roll out the way of it. Alright, not doing too bad. It is, actually is pretty easy to avoid getting hit when you know what to look for. I think this is where they got the idea for the Meteor Boss in 64. Where the shield is absorbing the laser. That was a close one. Alright, two more. Oh no you don't. 
if it gets you, it's just gonna... No, it's not over yet. Yeah, try shooting the last blade at you. Yeah, if it gets you, it tries to bring you in and cut you up the blade. It's not a pretty sight, is it? No sweat for you, I didn't hear your voice the whole stage. So yeah, level 3 seems a little trickier, that's all. No, fortune knows when things get nuts. And it gets nuts fast. Andros has taken control of the huge creatures who live on Fortuna. Take care, Fox. He ain't even giving me a hint at all. Gotta say, I dig the, the music here. It's so different from compared to the rest of the game. No, it sounds just like something you see in an adventure game on the Super Nintendo. They still look like ships, so what did they do? Roboticize them? Yeah, this is crazy tough when I played on the Super Nintendo. Like, I could not figure out what was coming at me and what wasn't. I mean, look at that. Even now, a lot of stuff is just blending together on this stage. So this is pretty challenging. Any stuff like this that just pops up out of nowhere. Crazy bad draw distance, I would say. Can I blow up this fish? Oh, there they go. There we go. And they still keep coming. And we got regular enemies too. If there's a one stage that takes up absolute concentration here, it's this one. You watch it. And we ain't even at the hardest part yet. It's so right after we get the shield. These things popping out. It just keeps spitting fireballs. And fireballs. I'm dodging a lot more of them than I usually do. Which is a big shock to me. But look, they can just keep popping up and destroy your shield so quickly. It's ridiculous. Oh no, 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 no. Yeah, and it homes in on you too, so you can't just dodge out of the way and think you'll be safe. Not at all. Come on now, you can do better than that, Falco. These little seabirds. There we go. Was that two checkpoints you passed, or am I imagining things? I'm actually doing a lot better than I thought it would be at this stage in particular. Not that I'm doing spectacularly well, but still better than I anticipated. No, if I'm exceeding my own expectations on myself, I suppose that's a good thing. But let's not get over common. We've seen how that was my downfall on level 2. Oh, this weird, weird thing. Please make it. Don't you mean, do make it? First time I encountered this boss, like, it went by so fast, it was over in an instant. Yeah, first you shoot the tail, then you just shoot the heads, and then you 
just keep shooting heads. Until the tail goes back. Then does this crazy stuff. Yeah, when the body's ready, you can just blast the hell out of it. Alright, which one am I gonna try and hit? The tail, definitely. It's like some sort of two-headed ostrich. Not unlike a robotic dodo. -do. But this is still a few years before a Pokemon becomes a thing. Alright, so looks like we're halfway to Vanel. Really? 98? This one's okay. I'm doing a save state for safety. I think it just said stage state. <laughs> now the last sector. Your team is doing well, Fox. I hope you're taking good care of my R wings. Good luck. Yeah, I just cut off his written good luck. Or was he saying good work? Now nah, he already said good work. You can see this is not unlike. Whoa, cut it out now. Our first uh, Sector X. But there is no missile defense like in Sector Z64. Yeah, this is a bit more challenging though. Pretty much just have to weave in and out. Weave in and out. And don't get hit by everything. I just do that because I want to heal my wound damage. Oh no, 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 no. Much better. I ain't losing my best laser to this. Oh no, it's not called laser, it's called blaster in this version. On a future game, it's called it laser. Come on. Yo, I said, come on. That was too dangerous to get on. I can survive without a bit, that bit of hell. Ah, that's more like it. Though, if anything, if you're comparing this to uh, Star Fox 64, this is like the warp in Sector X. Ah, glorious defense shield. Come to me. Somehow I'm just barely dodging, getting hit by anything. Not that it's too bad because I'm, you know. Got my Tempin Invincibility Shield. But yeah, but doing the bell on him does nothing to help you. Which is ridiculous. No, I did not see you or the enemy I killed. I was focused on stopping the things flying in front of me. That is messed up, man. That is messed up. Yeah, this is ominous. You have memories of the Armada. Why is that? Why? It's the very same thing. Well, not the very same, but extraordinarily similar. Come on, yeah, give me that shield. I can use one more of them. There we go. Just miss it. Nah, I'm not gonna go back for it. I got my rewind cheating if need be. I 
like this, I have to be very careful with. Because this is a much more dangerous version of the Armada stage. Like I said back then, I never did, did quite get the hang of how this is supposed to work. There we go. Got the coral open. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, this one's a lot more rapid fire with his nerve blast. Not that matter, this went extremely smoothly, I must say. There we go. Escaped even more on time that time. Ain't that a tongue twister? You got that right, right. Good. That's what I want to see. He just slides all around there. The planet Macbeth. The hollow interior of Macbeth is ideal for our base. Prevent Andros from building here. Good luck. Assuming he hasn't already. Considering, uh... You know, it's right next to uh, Venom. Ah, look, his stuff is already here. So I guess these obstacles are supposed to be uh, rocks or something. Yeah, the ceiling can actually collide with you if you have your ship turned. You know, on his side of by the wing. So I guess this is supposed to be a very hot place, I'm presuming. There's some crap in here and I can just do like a ton of damage really quick. It's ridiculous. I, what is this sound of something zooming? It's going now. I'm just gonna boost on ahead, there's nothing in front of us. Except for that. Not that matters. Yeah, these things at the top that get fiery. Those are molten rocks. Try not to get hit, hit by them like I did. I, for I forgot you can attack them. Now I'm getting worried. I've got all this damage and no heals in sight. And I found my heal. If you can launch missiles at me. But a hollow interior beneath the planet's surface. Looks like it's already a base. Or maybe it's hollow because Andros made it that way. One little hit. I say not to worry, but that just may be my undoing. Because the boss here is actually pretty freaking hard. Looking at three hits and I'm done. You're not bad we're able to bypass the explosions. By bypass, I mean I blew them up. Not explosions, but eruptions. This is the only enemy besides Andros that's got its own battle theme. I think Fantron may have had his own too. I could have, but I could have sworn that there was another boss that shared his theme. This thing is nuts. It just keeps spinning and spinning and spinning. Well, I thought I had more attacks than that. 
I want to say I'm disappointed that it didn't give me such a challenge. That looks so simple. But on the other hand, I'm relieved. Because while I'm recording, is not the time to be pushing me to crazy new heights. Yeah, you only get two credits for continues, so don't even bother trying to do better than that. And now I face in the same direction as if coming from Meteor. Too bad, Dancing Insector. You've made it this far. It's your fate to destroy Andros. We're counting on you, Fox. Good luck. It's not even saying we're in your debt. It's been a long time since we've read the lore to this game. Is Fox part of the Cornelian army or is he still a mercenary? Ah well, don't matter. Alright, so far, Venom Air Space is not too particularly dreadful. I've got to say, the last two bosses here. They're really going to not be good. Oh, I did save him. How about that? And your shots do nothing. Look at that. I have enemies that get blown up in one hit. One hit. Can you do that? I don't think so, Toad. Oh, I almost... Man, those come back it fast. Phew! That was close. Double close. Mind your own business, Fox. That's sort of like how Falco says it. Oof, all those lasers barely miss me. Just where are you, Falco? I don't even see you. That was a close collision. Popping out rapid fire now. If they don't even shoot at me, they come close to hitting me. And that's not good. Even though I do got a shield for now. Oh, no, you don't. All of you stay gone. So I want to see. After your attack fails, you just fly right at me. We're gonna save state because this boss is bad. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. Did not mean to mean extra save states there. Can't even harm this guy yet. Fly around, dodge the occasional lasers. Yeah, it's bullet holes are where you do the damage. You gotta be careful because they are difficult to hit. Got that, and I didn't hit it at all. And I've got the hang of how you're supposed to tell what's open and what's not. Go for the six hatches on the top side. I think I got it down to one. So when there's one or two left, we're becomes 90 impossible to do damage. Like that. I was shooting right at it, I got nothing. Nothing at all.
Oh, somehow I did hit it, though. Somehow. Even though I took massive damage in the process. Oh, no, you don't. Hey, okay, see, I saw it pop up for just a small second. I always use save chase against this fight because it's annoying. And even when you are dodging. See, no, I was rolling. I didn't even hit it. I'm rolling, 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 rolling. And somehow I hit it. Like you just gotta just keep shooting at the spot and hope you get lucky. Hey, he made the same sound Fantron does when he dies. I'm having some trouble here. Say your prayers, Andros. What? You really can get a third credit? Well, how about that? Okay, yeah, Venom 3 starts off seeming a lot like a uh, Venom 1. Not losing the shield the instant I get it. That is not the Jargus way. I'll take one hit to it though. But it becomes wildly different. I mean, already we didn't have the crazy blocks or the walls that you have to shoot the direction of. They all have the orange pillars though. You know what? I'll take the shield loss, forget it. Don't tell your friend to get lost. This one, yeah, it does. I don't even know how far it's damaged, but I took the health. Now we got the stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh-oh. How did I not get hit by any of that? I have no clue. Not complaining, but I have no idea how I pulled it off without taking any damage. Come on. Alright, we slide right on by. What do we got? What do we got? Woo! Boom, boom, you fell down. I'm trying to take out these two. I guess we do have to deal with this pairing blocks after all. Just not the very beginning, like the other one. And dodged. Ow! How dare you! Are oh, you floating bastard? What do you got for me? Are you sure looking intimidating? Like a fish? This thing is weird, it just has one weak spot and that's right at the bottom. I'm 
when you're not shooting that weak spot, you are dodging attacks. Which it does a lot more of as you get it closer to death. Tries to float around you, spin around. Reminds me of that robot boss from Kirby 64. Now the real fight begins. It can drop its head off. Right. Just floating around on its own. And you blow it up. First half intimidating, second half very easy. But it's all just to prepare you to be completely crazy on the edge about what could happen. Oh dear, I'm starting to yawn. This is the safe state I load the most on my Nintendo Switch. Oh, you want to see Reckless check out uh, part two of this series. Come on. Come on. McLeod's last battle, that means you're the final foe. I'm going to a timing after you. You're the same silver douchebag as before. Okay, I took a little more hits to bust your eye open. Food or bye. No yawning, Jargus. Not when you're this close to the end. Don't worry, folks. This is going to be the last time that he, uh, does his sucky suck. I'll make sure of that. Yeah, you look surprised as I break you apart. Poor brain doesn't look that enticing. That toy becomes a demon. At that point, nothing you can, you can stop him. He's flying his nerve balls you've dealt with since the start of the game. They did way too much damage. And he has a whole arsenal of attacks. Like he just throws towels nonstop. Ah. Oh dear, I must be getting tired because when I took that one death, I just completely zoned out. You know I just finished talking. Let's go, let's go. Freeman's taking a dive, but whatever. And it's over. He still breaks apart into cubes. Sides. Rectangles. Gotta get out of here. Yeah, you do that. You say the same lines as before. Come on, Pepper, let's hear you one last time.
Oh, that's right. We have to hear, see my stage results first. Ugh, last stage we did bad. Again, we didn't really hit a lot either. Are we still above 90? Yeah, 95! Compared to level 2, level 3 felt like a victory lap. Which is strange because level 3 usually gives me the bigger trouble, you know? The Destructor. Yeah, I call them Nova Balls because that's what the bomb is called. Yeah, but those are always called Plasma. I'll probably never get it right consistently in my life. Blade Barrier? I thought that was called the Battleship. And what are you, Mecha Doduo? The Monarch Dodora. I wasn't too far off. Fire Breath? I didn't really see much of his, of his fire, mostly it was shooting eggs at me. And this thing is the same as before. The Atomic Base. No, Atomic Base 2. Wonderful. Yeah, spinning core. It did shoot lasers, but that is not a laser. And that is the Great Commander. It's got a fitting name. Though its pattern at the end was just... Bad. Yeah, Iron Balls is kind of right. What does Andy Ross have to say? Why are you all in dots? You don't need to be all dotted. No, I always found it funny how in Smash Bros. Brawl, it's the card Star Fox main theme. But look at it, this is the ending song. The credits. But yeah, this game's been in my life since I was 8 years old. Though I have the Star Fox 64 has much stronger memories for me. It all started with this one. It still holds up well, but its difficulty just spikes wildly at times. But it's still a great game. And there's actually some more hidden secrets in this game that I haven't showed off yet. And that's gonna be the next video. I never showed off the training mode either. So I think we should take care of that. Like I said, it wasn't until years later I ever knew the story. It ain't that necessary, you know?
Ben Cheese. <laughs> anyway, enjoy the rest of this 16-bit orchestra. And I'll see you next time, everyone. Jargazelle.